Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about the Sig Sauer SP2022. In front of you here is a pair of Sig Sauer SP2022 pistols. The SP stands for Sig Pro and when these were produced they were the first um, polymer framed Sig Sauers. So instead of being the classic metal frame like the 226 and the 229s all that kind of stuff, these ones are designed off that classic line but they have a polymer frame on them. So what you see in front of me is this was my dad's 9mm and this one is my 40. And I have both of them on here for a purpose, we're going to tell a story about them later. For now I'm going to take mine out of the way and we will use the 9mm as our example of a teardown and just kind of a quick overview. So, SP2022. It has the classic look and feel of the classic Sig Sauer's and it's got that nice big full size grip. It's a double action, single action pistol so it has a decocker on there, it has a magazine release that looks like it is reversible just like the P320's and that kind of stuff but this is a much older pistol. The trigger in this one is actually what was used in their classic line. So they kept the trigger, the single double action trigger, just like your 226 would have, and then they built it into a more lightweight version using this polymer frame. And the back straps are replaceable on it. Uh, the magazines for a nine millimeter hold 15, as you can see there. And the one on my 40 holds, I believe it's 12 or 13. I think it's 12. And it's kind of the forgotten SIG. like. The price on these guys is anywhere between five and six hundred dollars, and the line has reduced in size quite a bit. Um, looking on SIG's website, they no longer offer the 40 caliber. It's only nine mil that they have now, so they have really reduced the line amount, and they only make the nine millimeters with the SIG night sights on there. But it's kind of the forgotten SIG. It's a budget-friendly option, being between five and six hundred bucks. It competes with your standard Glocks and that kind of stuff, so it kind of fits that budget area. Nobody really thinks about them, nobody really uses them that much, but they're a really solid pistol. And the double single action is very nice if it's your first carry gun, or if it's your first home defense gun, something you want. That double single action, just to show you guys it's clear. Nothing there. So, decocker on the side here. Drop it into your double action, which is going to be a long trigger pull. So you can see, it is a long pull. And it breaks pretty heavy, pretty long. Single action is pretty easy on it actually. Very, just a little bit of take up there, and there's your break. So it's a pretty short, pretty short trigger, like sponge to there, and then a light break. I believe, if I remember correctly, the specs on it was the single action was like four and a half pounds, and the double action is about ten pounds. So. Uh, yeah, got your typical SIG feel in there, decent beaver tail on it, decent texturing. Um, front of the grip has some texture as well. Front of the trigger guard does, has your normal rail for lights, lasers, etc. And night sights on this 9mm version, my 40 does not have those. But then you can set it to that kind of classic SIG look. So it's a very solid pistol, fits my hand very well. I like it. And they're kind of a joy to shoot. They're a, just a nice solid pistol. Uh, the takedown on it is a little bit of a pain in the ass, so drop the magazine, and what you'll see is there's a notch up here and a notch in the back, and you have to take and pull the slide back until it gets in that notch, and then you push from the other side. You take that piece out, and then you can take it apart. Now, like I said, this one was my dad's, so as I took it apart for the first time, I noticed the amount of weird amalgamation of lube and stuff that's built up in here so it clearly needs a good cleaning it's been a minute um, since I got it um, after his passing so yeah it needs some cleaning but your normal typical take down there guide rod and spring assembly they are separate it's not one piece and then a barrel so pretty basic takedown just a little different than your standard Glock and that kind of stuff it's a little more a little more to it but everything about it is just kind of your typical SIG and like I said they're kind of the forgotten SIG and they're a nice shooting pistol they're pretty solid overall just kind of lost in the fold of all the stuff out there so same thing as before to put it back together take it back slide it where it needs to be take that pin push through Ooh, I didn't get through all the way okay so what I missed there when I was trying to put it together is the barrel can slide inside there and there's a little bar that you have to make sure you clear 
and get it lined up just right. It's kind of similar to a 1911 if you're taking one of those down. There we go. So yeah, that's kind of your basic quick overview of the pistol itself. Um, I will roll in specs and that kind of stuff from SIG around it so you guys can see that during while I'm talking about it. Now, the fun story about it. So, my dad had the 9mm. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was a cool pistol. I was like 22. And in my mind, it made zero sense to have a full-size pistol chambered in 9mm. So, my dumbass went out and bought it in 40 because full-size pistol, you should have a 40 cal or bigger. Kind of dumb. Doesn't make a lot of sense now that I actually know about guns and understand them a little bit more that a full-size 9mm is a dream to shoot and it's a really nice, really nice setup. So, chalk that up to being a dumb kid. I went and bought the Sig Sauer SP2022 in 40. And it's not bad, but it's 40 Smith & Wesson. It's kind of a dying caliber at this point. Things like 10mm have taken over and also 9mm has gotten so much better. That 40 is kind of a dead caliber or working its way towards dying. So, still a great pistol. I like shooting it. It's actually what I use for home defense because I like the single double action on it. And one of my home defense weapons, I should say. But yeah, it's been a great pistol. I've really enjoyed it. You can kind of see some of the dis different designs. Um, the old school one says Sig Pro on it. Mine just says Sig Sauer. This frame was made in Germany. This one is all in New Hampshire to my knowledge. And then they did change the magazines on them as well. So the old school ones had the round count on the back, whereas these guys only have it on the side and it only shows up to 12. So minor details that have changed. Um, the takedown lever is the same. The decocker is slightly different. Uh, the 9mm has a little thicker version because it's older versus my 40. Um, yeah, other than that, they're pretty much identical. So that's kind of the fun story behind it. I was a dumb kid and thought, why would you want to have a you know, 9mm full-size handgun. That's a girly caliber versus a 40. So, that was dumb. The 9 mils a dream to shoot. I would like to get another 9 mil at some point. And, yeah. I'll take them out and shoot them and enjoy it. And, like I said, this guy's kind of one of my home defense options. But, the 9 mil, I should probably go through and clean it. And, get it back in a little better fit and function. And, take it out and shoot it a little bit like my dad would have liked. So, other than that, I'm sorry I missed last week, guys. I wasn't feeling great. Uh, feeling much better this week. Looking forward to going up to the cabin, creating some new content, filming some more stuff, continuing to work on the AR-15, or the budget AR-15 shoot and the AK. We've been working on that quite a bit. If you guys have any suggestions or things you'd like to see, hit us up in the comments or go to our Instagram, northwoods.nobodies. I'm going to keep pimping that out. And hit us up there. Let us know if there's something you want to see. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.